At the Paris Air Show, the United States revealed full-scale models of two advanced autonomous drones built to operate alongside its sixth-generation F-47 fighter jet. These aren't experimental prototypes or distant concepts. They are part of the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance program, with deployment strategies already shaping around one of the world's most volatile regions, the Indo-Pacific. One of these drones is the YFQ-44, also known as Fury, developed by Anduril Industries. The other is the YFQ-42A, from General Atomics, the same company that developed the MQ-9 Reaper. Both platforms are included in what the Air Force calls Increment 1, the first operational package for the F-47 and its collaborative combat aircraft. These loyal wingmen will fly in formation with piloted jets, but carry out missions independently. That includes surveillance deep into enemy territory, precision strikes, electronic jamming, and potentially absorbing enemy fire in high-threat environments. These drones are not just supporting players, they are a core part of the strike package. Endural's communications manager confirmed that development of Fury is focused on the Indo-Pacific theater, especially areas like the Taiwan Strait. The U.S. Air Force has made it clear that its sixth-generation systems are being built with this region in mind, where the risk of conflict with China continues to rise. If tensions over Taiwan escalate, the U.S. wants the ability to field highly survivable and capable systems that can operate in heavily contested environments. That means pushing autonomous platforms forward, collecting intelligence, jamming radar, and striking high-value targets, all while reducing the risk to human pilots. But this isn't just about one region. While the Indo-Pacific is the primary focus, the technology behind these drones is being designed with global relevance. Anduril believes that Fury could also have applications for U.S. allies in Europe, especially given the evolving security landscape on NATO's Eastern Front. Both drones are designed for modularity and interoperability. This makes them adaptable for a variety of mission sets and useful across multiple theaters. In future coalition operations, loyal wingmen could become a common element of joint air power strategy. Another important aspect is how these systems are controlled. Despite being autonomous, they are not independent from human oversight. Pilots remain in control of critical decisions, especially when it comes to weapon deployment. Artificial intelligence helps with maneuvering, targeting, and survivability, but within strict parameters set by human operators. This balance between autonomy and control is what makes the U.S. approach distinct, using drones to extend the pilot's reach, not replace them. The F-47 and its loyal wingmen mark a fundamental shift in air warfare. This is no longer about building a better fighter jet. It's about creating a cohesive, adaptive force where unmanned systems work alongside piloted aircraft to dominate future battlefields. With sixth-generation aircraft and autonomous drones entering operational planning, the next decade will redefine what air superiority means. The Paris Air Show didn't just showcase new hardware. It confirmed that the future of air combat is already in motion.